My main focus today is our flagship Sabodala Masawa mine, but the intention is to gradually increase our exploration focus across the country, given its prospectivity. Sabodala Masawa is located within the highly prospective Mako Belt, which is a small windstone belt outlier on part of the Biriman Belt in the southeast of Senegal. The Mako Belt sits between the Sofia Sabodalasha zone on the main transcurrent zone. The main prolific structure on site has been woefully underexplored, but that's certainly to our benefit now. As we have seen so far, Sabodala Masawa is a tremendous asset with the potential to get even better. During our exploration review, we successfully identified and delineated more than 15 potential targets within 30 kilometers of the Sabodala plant. Following this exhaustive review, we have established a target of discovering between 2.3 and 2.7 million ounces of indicated resources over the next five years, with most of the exploration focused within this radius. We are particularly excited because this target only covers half of our 1240 square kilometers land package. As we continue to broaden our exploration area, the number of potential targets on site is expected to grow. It's interesting because Barrick and prior to that Rongold were both largely focused on discovering refractory or resources on the Matsawa permit to improve the scope of the Matsawa project itself. In our case, we are focused on generating immediate returns given we have an operating plant on site. Our goal is to add high-grade ounces that will help ensure the plant is operating at its maximum capability for as long as possible. While we see additional upside within the combined Sabodala Masawa envelope for both refractory or non-refractory resources, our short-term focus is on the non-refractory resources. The discovery of non-refractory resources will allow us to optimize the mine sequencing on grade profile to maximize returns from the phase one expansion planned for completion later this year. Longer term, this will provide additional feed for the phase two expansion. Our exploration efforts this year are mainly focused on Samina, Tina, Sofia North extension and Bambaria targets. At the Samina deposit, we have extended the 500 meters mineralized strike length to more than 900 meters while mineralization remains open to the north. Further testing is planned here for the second half of the year. Drilling conducted at the TINA deposit focused on expanding the inferred resources defined in 2019 and converting them further into indicated resources. The mineralized strike lake has been extended by more than 300 meters while the deposit remains open to the north and southeast. On the Sofia North deposits followed up on previously identified Sofia North extension. The extension has now been identified to extend more than 800 meters along strike and is 150 meters wide, while remaining open to the north on that depth. To date, we have focused our activity on the Masawa Lees, mainly on Samina, Tina and Sofia. Beyond this, we see further potential on Bombaria, Makana, Tiwana and Tianga. This will be the next target we focus on. We are very excited about Bombaria, as it's a high priority target residing within the Masawa permit on just 13 kilometers from the mill. It's a Lulo type affiliated mineralization in a good setting that is gently dipping with good grades. We have now extended the mineralization to the north by more than 800 meters on our drilling program has identified higher grade. While the Masawa permit will remain a priority, we will also advance exploration in the relatively underexplored Kanumba and Bronson permit, located 20 to 40 kilometers from the plant. Several prospects have been identified on this permit, and based on our understanding of the surrounding geology, we feel that these are highly prospective for additional high-grade refractory or non-refractory resources. Opportunity like this 
while in too early a stage to be factored into our five years output, have the potential to provide significant upside in the longer term and will continue to deliver exploration success well into the future. We also see significant scope to generate new targets. We will look into flying a high-resolution airborne geophysics survey into the region to delineate the geology further and help identify additional targets. Given the blanket of unconsolidated rocky material covering the bedrock, there are a number of blind segments on the surface that the upcoming airborne geophysics will help in delineating further exploration work in the region. So, as you can see, Sabo de la Masawa is already a great asset with the potential to get even better as we continue our ambitious exploration programs.